Hi Year 4, we're going to do some artwork today based on a picture from the book Escape from Pompeii. So it's this picture and we're going to split it into three parts and do one part each week and we're concentrating today on this part here which shows a boat in the water some of the city of Pompeii, the base of the volcano and the ash coming out of the volcano. The first thing that we need to do is make sure that the piece of paper that you have, your A4 piece of paper, is in landscape. So that means that um, you need the long edge of your piece of paper at the top and the bottom and your short edge left and right. And you've got your piece of paper in landscape. If you measure across, it should be, it's approximately 30 centimetres, just short. So what we'll do is about a line about every 10 centimetres. And then we'll split our paper into three pieces. So just put a couple of marks on. Then draw my line. Just very faint, so you can only just see it. And then another line at 10 centimetres. There we go. Very faint again. And then I've got my piece split into one two, three pieces. So this is for the three parts of our illustration, of our sketch. This is the first part that I'm doing and I photocopied it and I've cut it into three pieces. On the website I've put this part onto an A4 piece of paper so if you did want to print it off you've got it there to use. If you haven't got a ruler for measuring out to do this, then you can just estimate and just do your best with um, separating your page into three pieces. So looking at this sketch here at this illustration from the book, we need to decide where to start and we need to look at how many pieces it's in. So we've got the very definite C area here. And then again, we've got another line across here, which is where the bottom of Mount Vesuvius is and where the city of Pompeii is. And then we've got a big proportion here, which is the gas area, the, the ash coming out of the volcano. So the first thing I'm going to do is just very gently put in this line here, um, which is the line of the sea, and just very gently put in this line for the top of the um this, this slope of the volcano because once we've got those in position we can then put the detail in. If we look at C it's approximately a quarter of the way so if I look at my piece of paper that's roughly half so a quarter's here so I'm just going to put a very very faint line across my page because that's where the C will end and then the town of Pompeii will be here. And I'm going to put the slope on now of Mount Vesuvius. So again, if we have a look, it's not quite halfway. That's probably about halfway. So just short. Um, but the top of the slope here on the section of the page is about halfway. So I'm going to use that as my marker. I'm going to roughly work out that halfway is about there. So that's where the top of my slope is going to be and I'm going to bring that down then to the edge of the page. Again, very, very faint because we're going to be putting other details over the top. Okay, so that's my slope of Mount Vesuvius here. That's where my water is going to end. I'm going to have my town of Pompeii roughly inside this triangle here. 
because if we look roughly in sort of triangular shape and then we've got more um, ash and dust to put here and then we've got the big ash clouds and we need a space for this bit of lightning here. Okay, so I'm going to start with the clouds here because they're nice and big and we can add to them. So I'm going to start with this cloud here and then I'm going to bring in this one and then this one and sort of layer them up. Once I've done that, I'm going to put in some of the shading detail to show these circles. So a circle round and then a bit of shading here. You don't have to worry too much about um, cross hatching. You can do if you want to, maybe a bit of stippling in some of these, but if you want to, you can just very, very gently shade in with your pencil. You can see here that you need some of the debris that's in the ash cloud so you can use your pencil there just to put those slightly darker marks in. For now, stick to just your pencil and no colour. Once we've done the whole thing, then we can get our colour in. What I don't want to happen is that you colour this part and then you maybe lose that red pencil and then you don't have it for the next part and then it will look a bit disjointed. So we'll just stick to our pencil for now. So I'm going to fast forward the video, get this bit drawn for you. And then we'll talk about doing the slope of Mount Vesuvius and the town of Pompeii. And then I'll fast forward the video again. And then I'll finish by doing the sea and fast forward the video so that you can see it. So it's completed. So I've almost finished my cloud section. I haven't copied it exactly. I've done my best to get pretty much the clouds in as they're shown here, but it's more about getting the effects in. So it's looking at using your shading to show the dark parts of the clouds and to show the shapes of the clouds and then getting some of these darker sections in here where you're showing the debris that's in the ash. With the lightning bolt here, it's negative space that we're needing because we need the black behind. So when I shade this in, I'm going to be careful just to leave a little bit of a white line around each of the, the bolts of the parts of my lightning so that they stay white. I'm just going to put a bit more shading on the cloud here that's nearby, uh, near the lightning bolt and get some of the shading that's up here in as well and a bit more of the texture from this cloud and then I'll be done with my clouds and we can move on to the slopes of Mount Vesuvius. So there we go, there's my cloud section finished and you can see where I've managed to keep my lightning bolt with the sketching. I've done some very, very faint sketching here just for this slightly shaded bit. Um, but if you go around your clouds and put some of the shapes in and put your shading around these shapes, then they'll really stand out. Okay, so the next thing that we're going to do now is the slope of Mount Vesuvius. And you can see it's almost been separated into the fields um, and it's just using lots of lines. So we're going to get those lines in. We've also got the lines of the lava flow here and then we'll get the ash cloud in and we'll get start to get the um, city of Pompeii in, of the houses. So for the lines of the slopes, my picture here is quite a bit bigger scaling wise so I've got to make sure I scale it down as best I can so I'll do this line first and again it doesn't have to be perfect doesn't have to match the this image exactly
I'll get some of the lava flow in. That's that bit there. Get some of this other bit in. But again, you see, it doesn't have to fit exactly. Got a bit of lava flow there. A little bit there and then the rest of these we're going to have as the fields so some very gentle lines across helps to show it's a quite steep slope as well once we put some color on this it will make more sense In this bit. Okay, so that's my slope done. The next thing now is the town. So the city of Pompeii. So we have got a bit of an ash cloud here and we've got the buildings. So I'm going to get that ash cloud in the shape of the top part here and then I'll start putting the detail of the building in. So I'm just pressing a little bit harder with my pencil just so I can see the definition of that ash cloud coming down here right down into the water. And then I'm going to have the roofs of the houses. So I won't do any more of the ash cloud for now until I get the houses in. And then I can put a little bit of that detail in. So for the houses, they come right to the water's edge. I'm not going to do the water's edge until I've got the houses in. And then I'll do the water's edge over the top. And maybe start with some of these houses right at the top here. the shape of the roof there's a little door and then the building next door with its roof the next door and then just bring that down and keep bringing some more houses in until you've got them all in. So I'll fast forward now. So that's my clouds done, the slopes of Mount Vesuvius, the city of Pompeii or part of the city of Pompeii. So my final bit to get in now are the waves of the ocean here. So much closer together at the top part and then further apart at the front here in the foreground. And then we've got this ship here, this boat. So I'm going to start actually at the bottom here with this shape of this wave coming around, then I'm going to get the shape of the boat in. Remember the people are going to be very, very tiny and then I'm going to get the rest of the shapes of the wave in. So I will fast forward that. You'll watch, um, you'll see how I'm shading these areas. So once I've done that shape of that wave on my piece of paper, I'm going to be shading in those sections to give the idea that we've got a more of a 3D effect, okay?
So there is my finished third, ready for next week doing the second third and then the week after doing the last part. It will take you quite a while to do, it's very detailed, there's lots and lots of bits to get in there so take your time with it, there's no rush, doesn't matter if you don't get it finished this week or if you do, just let me know how you're getting on, I'd love to see.